A few pointless minutes later. Look, Fredbear, I know you told us to stop wasting time, but we really need to pull in a babysitter for all of the kids at the house. Look, Henry, I understand that, but nobody around here even wants to work as a babysitter anymore. They've been asking for us to hire an actual babysitter to the house instead of asking, hey, you want to babysit some kids? For God's sake. Why don't we just continue pulling people in and then we could worry about this later? No, I'm telling you, we need to do it now before it's too late. I get that we have other stuff we need to be focusing on, but this is the one thing that we need to get out of the way before we get to all the other stuff. Oh, Henry, why are you even arguing about this? It's really not that big of a deal, I'm telling you. We really should just get back to focusing on pulling people in, because worrying about this is just wasting even more time than it already has. You know that? You're wasting time. Uh, <sighs> Can you guys please stop arguing? Henry's right. You need to bring in a babysitter as soon as possible. I mean, yeah, I know there's not really a lot of people that want to babysit kids anymore or even are willing to even do the pay for that. But if you can't find one, you might as well make one. Alice, do you know how much power that takes to create something? Living creature. We need extra magic in order to do that, and I doubt there's anybody around here that want to you know, spread that kind of magic towards us. Mm, that's a good point there, but... What exactly is that one thing that's holding this universe together? Keeping the balance of it. You know, the tiniest bit of balance left of it, at least. That would be the sun and moon. I mean, I could go into more depth on that, but yeah. Okay, so that's a start. Golden Freddy, what if we bring in the sun and moon mask? Those are the two things that are keeping from breaking away at the balance, is that correct? I mean, I do suppose you're right, but Shadow Freddy made us swore not to touch that ever again. I don't think we should go and do that. No, hold on, you know what? I think Alice has a point here. I don't know what exactly it is you're trying to get across with Alice, but I kind of get a little point of it. So, what we should do is take the Sun and Moon Mask, donate some a little bit of a power, or, you know, have somebody donate a little bit of their power so we can help turn that into a living being and maybe create a babysitter out of it. Something that's born to be a babysitter. And, you know, we're trying to keep the balance of the universe up, so maybe this can kind of help us. The children of the Fazbear House are a part of the balance of the universe, just like everyone else. At least with this, we can make the balance even more sturdy. Wait, Evan, that's not what I was going for. What I was just saying is take the sun and moon mask, have it take out some of the little bit of power that it has in it. Just not too much of it, because I know there's a lot within it harvesting to keep the balance of the universe up. But I'm saying take some of the power out of it and then use it to create a living babysitter for the house. Yes, I, I got what you were saying, but what I'm saying is that we are going to take the sun and moon mask and we are going to turn it into a living babysitter. But in order to do that, we have to have someone at the house to donate some power to it to help turn it into a living person while still having the power of the universe be at hand with its stability and all. Oh. Well, I didn't really think of it that way. Stop! Oh, gosh. I'm... Um... Very sorry about that. Everything keeps going black and white out of the random. And you know, the only thing really stopping from happening is me to tell it to stop happening. But you know what, Shadow Freddy? That's a great idea. I'm a little foggy in the brain right now, so everything you just added on to the ideas that I just have come up with, it was probably 10 times more of a better idea than I have ever come up with. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the voices in my head just keep speaking to me. Or, you know, the spirit guides, as you called it. But, woof. This is all so confusing as to why I was really pulled here. I mean, yeah, I have all the information you guys need, but why me? It's because you're special, Alice. The spirits chose you. Living in that ink dimension might not have been very all that good, but there's a purpose to all of this. Even if Afton is a part of it, you're still one of the things in connection to the spiritual rebellion. But, of course, there are different elements as to what different things are in connection to the spiritual rebellion, if not a part of it. A 
Part of you has the blood and power of She-Ra. It's just going through that ink machine there. It expanded your ways of power. Just like how Afton expanded his ways of power by creating different machines and experimenting on different substances and breaking away at the laws of nature. You get what I'm saying here? Huh. Strange to think about. I, Alice Angel, one part of the Shira. Well, all of us are a part of the Shira. To which I'll fall back on me, but you're one of the most powerful beings besides her. Well, besides me being on top of that pyramid, but you. You're one of the very, very, very powerful elements that we need to help fixing all of this. Not only by giving off information, but helping us fight off all of these corruptions and absorbing them away. I mean, there's a lot I can do. I just don't fully understand it. But, you know, I guess that goes with everybody living with this house and, you know, people that go on to end up living in this house later on. We don't really understand much now, but when the time comes, it will flow on to us, to what our purpose was and who we really are. That's correct, though, right? What I just said and, you know, repeating what you've said? Yes. In due time, all of your memories will flow back to you and you will understand the true meaning as to why you were born and why all of this has ever happened in the way it has. Just all this fighting and corruption and just all the stuff that Afton and I have caused together. With me doing good on my part and him doing crappy on his part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, uh, since I'm out here, what exactly is the plan here? Like, how are we gonna bring in, or create, the babysitter? The one that holds all the balance of the universe that could honestly probably help build that up. Keep it in sturdy condition as to what you said there. What's the plan and how are we gonna create this babysitter? That's all I'm really trying to say here. I mean, obviously, but you know. I'm a bit fogged up in the rain. And here it goes again. Stop! Oh, thank you. Gosh, I hate when it does that. It makes me think that I'm gonna be pulled back into the ink dimension. It's just PTSD, Alice. Try not to worry about it so much, but the plan here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab the sun and moon mask. That's already done, sir. Or better yet, Palantris is gonna do it. And then after that's done, we're gonna have to call in a few people that, you know, have some sort of unicorn type of magic. And then we're gonna have to have them donate a little bit of that power so we can turn this sun and moon mask into a living being. But in order to keep the balance here, it is the sun during morning time and then the moon at night for when it goes to babysitting and, you know, being a little daycare attendant as to what we would call it. Due to the fact you take over the daycare and watch over kids, and, you know, just babysit them in general. Keep an eye out. Alright, well, I wonder who'd that be? Yep. Yep. We heard everything you were saying. Whatever it is you're doing, we'd be delighted to donate some power. Yeah, we were lines at one point, but we're unicorn lines now, and we have all this power trapped away in our horn. Which, it might not seem like a lot, but it is. So what do you say, Shadow Freddy? We donate some of our power to help you out. Hmm. You two do hold a lot of power within your horn, but... I'm gonna need at least one more person that may have some sort of power like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Oh, oh! I volunteer. I might not have any sort of unicorn type of magic, but we are fantasy creatures. And, you know, mythical creatures, you know, to the outside world, because not everybody sees a dragon or unicorn creature flying around, but... I volunteer, but I also want help for another reason here. And that's because I want to use some of the power to bring my sister back to life, or... However it is you put it. From the time you brought me in that paperized coffee machine, you told me that you couldn't track her down, which I assumed is because she's in like an alternate universe for right now. Cause I do remember getting trapped in like a portal at one point and we both got separated off. So all I really want uh, you to do is to not only use some of this power to whatever it is you're gonna be doing, but to also help me bring back my sister, you know, to live here because I know she's still written on the reservation list. I don't think she'd be ever be crossed off. It's just, 
At one point, you needed some sort of assistance to help you out on all of what of this is going on. You know, so we can bring her back too, so... What do you say? You know what? Screw it. All three of you. Use your power to donate some of it to this moon and sun mask. Well, as you see, it's got two sides. The sun and then the moon mask. What I'm gonna need you to do is place your horns and then, you know, cinder for whatever it is you use to put power through. Place it onto the mask. And then push your power through it. I'm gonna make it to where it comes to life as a sun and moon daycare attendant babysitter. Hmm. All right, man, what do you say? I'm ready to push some power through. Yeah, me too, but I got a bigger horn than you. <laughs> oh, shut up, Layla, we're not comparing sizes. But if we are, look how thick my mane is compared to yours. You look like a little girl. Oh, come on, man, I didn't say nothing about your mane. <laughs> you know, whatever, come on. Alrighty, here's nothing. Also, I forgot to mention that Bonnie helped fix my wing. After so long, I didn't think it was going to have him, but Foxy had to convince him because, you know, he was busy at the time and didn't really want to do it. So, yeah, he finally fixed my wing after being ripped away. Oh, that's great, dear. All right, push your power through, you three. Whoa. Oh, that's a lot of power radiating it off. Stop! Can you guys relax a little bit and push it in a little slower so, you know, I'm not having a little bit of overload over here? The ink dimension, it's it's calling out. It's trying to pull me back. Alice, breathe. It's not trying to pull you back. It's calling out to you because of all the power that's going on in one area. Being pushed through to one thing. Let's relax. <sighs> <sighs> was alive at one point. What's going on now? Yeah, what's going on? I thought we were putting power to the universe later on. We've already restored most of it, keeping up all the power that we have and the balance of what's going on. Why are we here at the Fazbear House in the shape of the masks? Oh goodness, that was quicker than I thought. Guys, you didn't put enough power into it. We were supposed to give him a body to make it to where he's not the sun and moon at the same time and only at separate times of the day. Oh, we're supposed to give him more power? Come on, Shadow Freddy. I think we've wasted enough of our energy trying to push it off into it. But to do that to the point where it's got a body and a change of appearance, come on. Oh, I don't know if I can do it anymore. Yeah, me either. I wasn't really expecting anything in return. I see you making us donate a little bit of power but gosh i'm going to my room you got me screwed up you think i'm donating more power yeah that was a little bit too much sorry man Ugh. wait wait no 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 i still have some left i know there are some unicorns besides the unilines over there that can go off to donate a little bit of power left to this thing to give it a body create into a babysitter whatever you called it but i have a little bit left right now until i run out and I want to use some of this to bring my sister back into the world. This is her th This is her home, and she belongs here. I'm willing to do anything before I lose my energy. I mean, all I really have to do is go to sleep, and then I can restore it, but I have some left. I can do it, Shadow Freddy. Just give me a minute. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can do it anymore, Shadow Freddy. You're gonna have to give him a body yourself or have somebody else to do it, but... <sighs> I thought I could do it. I've donated what I could, but I couldn't help with the rest of it. Not that I thought I could, which I did, but... Ugh. Really sorry about this man, but I tried what I could there. But now that I say that, is my sister here? What the heck? Oh. Cinder? Oh my gosh, Cinder! Oh! Uh. Oh my gosh, sis, I can't believe it's you! Well, of course it was me. Who else would it be, silly? I haven't seen your goofy ass in a while. A long time, in fact. Where have you been? I've been searching all over the world for you. 
Sapphire, you've been sucked into another universe. Well, another dimension, and the time I was trying to bring you home and reunite with you, nobody could track you down, so I would assume you were in another universe, because if you were in another dimension, they would have been able to automatically find you. Well, you know what? I don't really care or really know what's going on or how I even got here. Or why it is I couldn't even find you, or what world it is I could have been in that you couldn't have found me at all, or, you know, for me to not find you. But I'm so glad to see you, big bro. It's been way too long. Wait, hold on. Is this the Fasper house? Yes, yes, it is. Hold on. So, does this mean that I'm going to be moving in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear to God, it is. No joke. Oh, finally. Somewhere to live besides out on the streets somewhere. You know, I fell in with the wrong crowd trying to make some money. And, you know, search for food to survive. I forgot that we could breathe fire, you know? But, gosh, to finally be back here with you and, you know... Just living somewhere that I could find peace? It's great knowing. Thanks for having me pulled in somehow, Cinder. I really appreciate it. Yeah, 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 no problem, sis. Now, what do you say we go find your room? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's, uh, you lead the room, uh, way to the rooms, uh, Cinder. And help me find one, because I'm really indecisive as to when it comes to different sizes rooms. And, you know, just the color of them. Uh, okay. Uh, well, slow down, jeez! I... Well, that was a bust. I don't think anybody else wants to go on ahead to donate any power, Shadow Freddy. Well, Evan, but now what? Hmm. Well, what I'm gonna go back to do is to go on and rest. Alice, you're one of the special beings within this house besides me and, you know, all the mystical creatures. What I'm gonna need you to do is to use a tiny bit of your power to help give this guy a body. But Golden Freddy, I think you might have dozed off a little bit due to the fact that I've taken over for a second. So, what I'm going to need you to do is to call in some people that want to send their kids over to the babysitting room. Well, the daycare. So they don't have to watch them as much anymore. I mean, don't have them exactly send them off to the little room there, but have them send them out here so they can be watched out for. In the meantime, yep. I did you really think I dozed off? I was listening then the entire time. In fact, I was here the entire time. You guys just couldn't see me because he took over. But all right, I'm gonna send out the message real quick. <laughs> I'm, okay, that was a weird way to send out a message. Jeez, well, at least someone's taking my advice for once due to the fact that, you know, I'm supposed to be the one in control of everything, but you know, whatever. Now we just wait, I guess, huh? Yep. So we're finally bringing in a babysitter? I mean, obviously we are, but it's kind of a surprise now all of a sudden. Hey, uh, uh. Hey, uh, uh. Man, I can't believe we're going to be finally watched over someone. Well, by someone that's all creepy looking. Like, really, Mom? You're trusting Golden Freddy or whoever here is in control to create a living babysitter from out of nothing? Something in connection to the sun and moon? I mean, like, come on now. The dude doesn't even have a full body yet. Yeah, what Liv said. I don't want to be babysit by that thing. Or be on the constant watch in general. It just looks weird. Yeah, Mom, I don't want to live in the daycare room. I mean, yeah, I get we'll still be living here and we get to do whatever we want, just run around and play. But to just be on the watch of that guy and not be able to see you as much? I'm scared. Kids, you'll be able to see me every now and then. It's just that this guy right here, he'll be watching you from day to night. I mean, shoot. He'll keep you on a constant schedule of... Waking up and going to bed. Like what times you can wake up and what times you can go to bed. Just stuff like that. But he's not going to hurt you, so try not to worry. Well, he's not even fully ahead. Well, he is ahead, but where's his body? Look, man, I'm just in develop right now. Yeah, as first we started off as a mask. And, you know, something to keep the balance of the universe in check. But now we're being brought to life and created into a babysitter since nobody around here wants to babysit apparently yeah but we'll try not to scare so much oh, okay i guess we'll stay out here and wait for whatever orders it is we need to be taken from him, mom so you can go on ahead and go back to your room or whatever it is you were doing <laughs> yeah i'm gonna see yeah mom what they said all right children have fun move over here hey uh -uh. howdy y'all Look, I know I'm not a parent to any of these kids, but 
I wasn't really paid to babysit any of them, so yeah, I've been babysitting some kids. But I heard now they're actually hiring in a babysitter, and you know, I don't really like this job, so... Come on out, kids. Looks like you're being sent to the daycare. With a new person to watch over you, permanently. Yep. You know, I really don't like being tossed back and forth with this whole babysitting thing. Yeah, me neither. But I think this one's permanent for sure. Yeah, that's what she just said. I mean, I kind of like Toy Chica uh, being our babysitter and such, but the fact that we're getting a new one and they look like a creepy looking sun and moon, uh, it's weird. Yeah, I know, but as long as we have each other, we'll be fine, so don't worry, Gia. Okay, Posey, what did he say? Nah, nah, Toy Chica, you could have at least carried us. Yeah, what the heck? Do you know how hard it is to walk being this small? Hey, this is something you guys are complaining about. I mean, shoot, I could get used to this. Wouldn't you agree, Ralpho? Yeah, I could definitely agree to this. It's not really all that bad. Hey, you're only saying that because you're bunnies and all you do is move 24-7. To where us, we can't really move that much because we're small and we lose energy quickly. You mean lose? Haha, <laughs> you're a dummy, Freddy Jr. And screw you! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I keep reading you all are younger than me. Oh, sorry about that, Fox in a second. Didn't mean to leave you behind there. Arg! Oof! Man, it's fine, Foxy Jr. But hey, we don't have to be moving this much for too long, right? No, not that I know of. <coughs> I'm sorry. Can you guys stop complaining? I already have a major headache. I mean, shoot, my dad dropped me off over here for no reason. Just wrapped Toy Chica to watch us, but I mean... I'm not really complaining about it because we had Toy Chica watch us and she kind of... Hey, yo, she's family, bruh. Calm down. Not only that, she adult, too. I was just joking. Jeez. But the fact that I had to travel all the way from Pikmi to here, you know, to end up in Toy Chica's room for us to be all watched in the same room area, which isn't all that big, I should be the one complaining. Because now we're moving out here into the daycare area. Yeah, but even still then... They're complaining like they have something to complain for. It's not that big a deal that we're being watched by a creepy dude now. I mean, yeah, he's ugly looking. That's not very nice at all. Yeah, I have a little more respect. Sorry, but I'm just saying. These guys are complaining for no reason. Just relax. At least we'll be together this time still. Instead of being split up and watched by other people. Yeah, what Push Rep said. Oh, quit adding on, Chaser. Let's just all go over here. Because I'm pretty sure this is where all the kids are waiting. Come on, you guys. Yeah. I... Whatever. Again, we should be the ones complaining. We don't even live here. And we're probably going to have to move back in. Because my dad might be coming back. Both dad and my mom. Like, I don't even know what's going on at this point. My dad just keeps hopping back and forth from picking me earth, picking me earth, picking me earth. Ah. It's so annoying. Ugh. Wait, wait for us. Little Roxy and I were kind of a little distracted messing around in the back room over there. Where Toy Chica stays, we kind of forgot that we were supposed to follow a leader. So that's my fault, but I'm here now. Yeah, and I don't want to look ugly today. I got my hair to look poofy and beautiful today. So come on. We better be getting tacos and burritos after this. Honestly, I don't care what we get. I just want my food. And to keep my hair intact. Oh, jeez. Well, uh, hopefully it's not a problem keeping them all here. I mean, you did say that there's a new babysitter that can watch all the kids all at once, but, I mean, I was babysitting Alvin and Theodore over there, but they seem to be on their best behavior, so I think they'll be fine not sitting away in the daycare. So if you see them wandering off, try not to worry about it too much. If anybody tries bringing them in again like they did the last time, just be sure to let them know that they're 100% behaved. They'd be perfectly fine on their own. Just not around the times to where, you know, all them corruption things pop in. But, uh, I'ma go now. Oh, hi, Alice. You're looking mad pretty today. Oh, thank you, Toy Chica. You're looking, uh, mad pretty too, today as well. Yeah, thanks, love. All right, well, I'ma head on and out. <laughs> um, I think that's everybody, you guys. What the? Well, you thought wrong. Loba is here to drop off some kids, just to let you know. Oh jeez, of course Loba had to pop on in. Um, Loba, what's up with your voice? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not really too sure, Alice Angel. You know, I'm not fully Fox. 
yeah, I used to be once an animal, but, you know, after tons and tons of experiments and, you know, creating me into something I'm not, I've just been able to flip-flop through becoming a boy or a girl. It's kind of weird to think about. In fact, I mean, I'm not even sure if I even have a gender, even after this whole thing with Phantom Foxy being able to make me into a girl. It's just I have this thing in my throat that makes my voice change, and I haven't really been doing too good with it. Like, it's mechanical. I don't <coughs> know how to explain it. Look, 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 look. See what I'm talking about. Um, right. Well, I think maybe you should go back to your room. Or whatever it is you came from. Just go back to doing what it is you need to do. Because I think talking and just continuing on to talk and ramble on through many stuff right now, it's messing up your vocal cords even more. So whatever it is that's attached inside of your throat. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. Uh, right. But, uh... Come on, kids. Let's go. Hey! Thanks for bringing us out here, Auntie a little bit. I really appreciate it. Yeah, me too! Yeah, I guess you can say the same thing for me. I mean, yeah, you're fun and all, but... I kind of want to be babysitted by someone else. Even if it's by some creepy sun dude, like how that message said. So yeah, come on, let's go! Wait over here. Oh, Jeez, you have to be so rough. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm a little too excited here, so yeah. Was it really a good idea to bring us out here a little bit? Are you sure you're not good babysitting us on your own? Oh, trust me, Bitty Bab, I'm sure I am tired of babysitting kids. Well, you know, your parents and, you know, Funtime Freddy and Funtime Foxy are off doing whatever. So go on. Uh, Alright, whatever you say. You know, I'm gonna set it straight to you. I don't like being in this world as an 8-bit character. I mean, shoot, when I was born, my hair was friggin' chopped off. It's not fair. And to think that you're going to be having us babysit, or be babysit by somebody else that isn't you, you got to be out of your mind a little bit. Well, I'm a little bit out of my mind for a lot of reasons, but it's not just because of that. But go on. Go wait in line like the other kids. And just forget we even talked here. Okay, bit baby. Oh, whatever. Ugh. Where am I supposed to go? Over there where all the other kids are at. Okay. It was fun having you a little bit. I really appreciate you babysitting and all you've done for us. You're really nice. Even if you're not our aunt or whatever it is you want to call yourself, you're very nice. Aw, oh, that's really nice, but uh, I think I'm going to head on now now and try to figure out what's wrong with my ba 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 lo 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 vocal cords. Well, sorry. About to have an aneurysm, jeez. I'll just be sure to tell your parents of what's going on, just like how Choi Chica, I think, was doing. Even though, you know, the two of you don't have parents talking about posing you, yeah, but sorry to point that out. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. Hey, yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What the heck? I was supposed to jump up and then I was supposed to go back to my room. Oh, never mind, I miss it. Hey, yep. Oh. 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 I... Man, what the heck? Uh, do you need help? Yeah, you look like you're struggling there a little bit, a little bit. Do you need assistance? Uh, no, 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 no. I I'm fine, I'm fine. Phantom Foxy, I know you're in another realm, but can you help me back to my room real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my love. Just jump on up, and that will pull you through. And then you can get back to your room. Alright? Alright, and help me fix whatever is going on with my vocal cords here. I'm tired of having this mechanical disc in my throat. Yeah, yeah, right. Just jump up. Alright. Hey, yep. No, get it! Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, okay, I think that's everyone. Now... What exactly were we supposed to do after we brought them out here? Were we supposed to maybe fi finish off with making this guy's body here? The new babysitter that's going to take over for now on and for now on only? Maybe till the rest of time? Um, you know, I would totally ask Shadow Freddy that question, but I think the best that we do is maybe send these kids off to the daycare and then we'll have this guy take care of things, because I'm pretty sure he can float still. I mean, when the time comes, we will finish off with making this body, but for right now, I think the best is just leave things for now as how they are for now on. Just for right now. That's all. How'd you know I could float, though? Yeah, that's kind of weird for to think of. Or for you to even know. But it turns out, I guess we're a babysitter now, Moon, so... For right now, since it's still daytime. No, it's nighttime. Uh, you know what, I'm not really sure what time of day it is. But until they have this all figured out, I think it's best that you leave me to do the babysitting. And then, you know, we could swap back and forth for a little bit. 
like you know if the, each of us want to go take a break so what do you say uh sure looks like we gotta babysit all these rats over here so come on kids let's go to the daycare area i'm gonna set down some rules wait what are the rules again golden freddy uh they're up on the wall in that room somewhere just go find it usually back and forth we'll have one person babysitting but since you're the replacement babysitter you're gonna have to switch things up a little bit but not too much just to the point where these kids can have their freedoms but you know you'll have to assign them like where they have to sleep and such and like what times they go to bed or wake up stuff like that okay understood well now kitties come on let's go by the way my name is sunrise and i'm moondrop for the majority of us working as your babysitter we're gonna switch between time to where i take over during the daytime and he takes over during the nighttime. But for now, we're just a floating head, so come on, kids, let's go now. All right, dreamies. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, ow, you hit me on the head. Jeez. So much for rushing the kids out of the room. Jeez. All right, well, now that that's taken care of, I think it's safe to say that we get back to pulling people in. Don't you agree, Henry? Yeah. I kind of agree on that one. I mean, we have wasted a little bit too much time, but it was kind of me who brought up this whole babysitting thing, so, yeah. Oh, well, what about me? Won't you need my help on anything? Well, we might need your help for when corruptions come to pop on in. I mean, we, it doesn't seem like we need any more water to go to kill them off or weaken them. So I guess if any do pop in, we'll just send you a signal, and then you'll automatically just come on out here to help us. How's that sound? All right, I got it. Just you do you, and I'll do me. All right.